Hello guys, this is Fort Defender, and welcome back to yet another Pokemon video. Today we'll be exploring why I like Alola or Generation 7 so much, and why it's my favorite generation, and why I deem it the good old days of Pokemon. Let's get started. <laughs> You might not have guessed this, but I haven't been playing Pokemon all that long. I played Black and White back when they first came out as a kid, but I didn't have the patience to figure out how to beat them or beat gyms or anything like that. So I slowly grew away from the franchise and ultimately ended up selling all my cards and games. And that is until Pokemon Go kind of brought me back. I didn't start playing Pokemon Go officially until early 2019, but by the summer of 2018, I decided I wanted to play Pokemon again. Early in that summer, I went on the GameStop website and found Pokemon Moon for only $17. I mean, it was a used copy, but I saw this as a great chance to explore Pokemon again. I went out on that warm summer evening to pick up my copy of Pokemon Moon. When I got home, I turned on my 3DS and started a journey that would change me forever. See, I didn't remember much of the universe games, I just knew that I picked Tepic. So I was more than excited to pick my starter for the game. That is until I realized what a used copy for a game is. It already had saved data on it, but not that much. The only thing chosen was the starter, and I was in the middle of a field. So I had to figure out everything, of course, and the only part that was skipped in the game was tutorials. But thank goodness for the internet. But I slowly progressed my way through the game that summer. I played every single day. Using the internet guides was one of my favorite parts as I learned Pokemon again through so much research. Also, that tropical region of Alola, it easily became the landscape that I really enjoyed. I soon struggled all my way all the way to the Elite Four Mountain, Mount Wanakila. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, but of course, I lost to Gladian like the new I was, but still believed that what would be to come wouldn't be that hard. Boy, was I wrong. The entrance to the Elite Four plus the music will be something that I'll never forget. Honestly, I think it was the best Elite Four of any game, but I might be slightly biased. I went from left to right challenging my opponents, uh, at least that was the plan. I lost to Hala so many times before even moving on to the second one. But once I finally was able to figure out how to beat him, there was no stopping me. I used so much strategy, it wasn't even funny, battling my way through all four Elite Four members. Then, that was the moment. I beat them and was granted access to a new set of stairs. I slowly went up and found myself the Elite Four chair. As my character sat down, I sighed in relief for beating all the members. I was done. That is until I realized I had a champion fight. My team had come so far, so I wasn't going down without an epic fight. And man, was it one. I don't know how, but my team pulled it together and we fought off our challenger. I have to give credit to my sturdy man zone and the starter I didn't even pick. Together? We won, and I was the champion of Alola. Even though I won, I wasn't done. I logged more hours in that summer time frame than any other Pokemon game I have to date. I explored the island, discovered shiny hunting, GTS, and competitive battles. Of course, I will never have that clueless, awe-inspiring gameplay of Pokemon again. I tried to replicate it with my blind playthrough of Legends, but it wasn't the same. Alola will forever remind me of the good old days of Pokemon in the warm summer, summer evenings where getting to the next part of the game was my main concern in life. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about why I love Alola so much and why I consider it to be the good old days of Pokemon. The very start. Um, I do hope that they give it a game with updated graphics at some point. Um, I am a little salty that it nearly missed out on getting the Switch graphics, but its day will come one day. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching.